First person singular, views expressed are those of the author. Sally Gray bemoans a lost art. I used to write regularly to friends and family around the world. My cursive was sloppy, so I created my own stick figure letters. I scrawled lots of those letters on every page. I can't imagine how I found so much to write about in those days of my callow youth. I miss writing letters. Even more, I miss receiving them. It's exciting to open the mailbox and find that flash of envelope white, the lines of slanted handwriting, the colors of the postmark stamp, and the weight of an ounce in my hand. The crinkly paper has traveled many miles, creased in adventures that can never be shared. But the contents of those envelopes connected us. Now, it's all in the cloud and a lot faster. But who hasn't set off some ideas better kept private and wished to grab it back? The time it takes to post a letter allows me to decide whether or not to send it on. How did I have time to write and read all those letters? What tasks have replaced writing and posting saving a cherished missive to read over and over again. I have to admit, I'm addicted to dictating my email messages now, and I can't imagine taking the time to actually pen an entire letter. Thanks to all the dictation I've been doing, I've started adding punctuation when I read a story to my grandson. Thanks for listening, period. Sally Gray is a writer living in Soquel. If you would like to share your opinion or stories, send 240 words to First Person Singular at ksqd.org. If you would like to hear this or other pieces, go to ksqd.org forward slash first dash person dash singular. For First Person Singular, I'm Matilda Rand.